Hey, so this is a bit of a big surprise, but uh... We just finished recording some of our gold for our Let's Play of gold, and... Look what came out today! Yeah, for the Switch! So, yeah. we both freaked out. They also released an ad, ad uh, or, you know, commercial for um, the new game, other games. Yeah. Which oh. called it, he, he call, or he called it, fucking Kanto. Well, uh, well, it, it looks like it's gonna be Kanto because we only saw Kanto Pokemon in the video. It was highly speculated it would be uh, Kanto remakes. But you've been saying it since like a year ago. It was like or two years ago. There we go. Let's see if it's actually in here uh, while it downloads, because we got nothing better to do. And you know what? I don't care how long this is. We're trying this out, and we're going like, on we an adventure. We both freaked out, and we were both squealing like. Like, like five-year-old little girls who just found out they got on My Little Pony for the birthday. I ha yeah, it's, it's definitely not up here yet. Yeah. I still need to get the battle pack eventually. But yeah. So uh, that, that came out uh, today. This news is brand new. It's downloading. Oh my and god. We're really talking about just because we're excited. Because, well, we're Pokemon fans if you haven't, if you haven't uh, seen. And oh my god, you can dress up Eevee in the game. In the other, well, the other one. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, the other two games are Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, like what was, Which uh... Which already knew because of the patent codes. Yeah, but, uh, I was really iffy when it said Pokemon Go integration, but the way they did it, I like it. It looks like it'll be good, I just hope they don't botch it. Actually, one, of, one of the things that I predicted when it was going on the Switch, I said, watch, and this was before anything had to do with Go. I said, watch, they're gonna make it where there's an option where you throw the ball, and sure enough... Well, you've been That's talking there. about for years that you wanted to be able to throw the ball. It's And, no, the... like, we're, we're really excited. The only thing I'm worried about is will I be able to transfer my old Pokemon through PokeBank? That, that's the big thing. Because uh... if I can't, I spent hours well, farming Shinies. Actually, no, you should be fine. I think it's separate. Because Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu are coming out this November. Yeah. But there's specifically a Pokemon game coming out mid-2019. Yeah. I think that one is going to be Gen 8. And that this one is literally going to be... It's own spinoff? This... Yeah, like, this is... Oh my god. This is going to be Gen 1 as a remake, but it's going to be its own separate thing, which I think this I is know, a good idea. From what we saw in the trailer, so long as they ain't fucking with the graphics, you know, like other companies have done. It looks really good. If you haven't yeah. seen it... Definitely go check us on the official um, YouTube page for them. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, I would definitely recommend it. I'm freaking out right now because my Switch is charging right now, so I can't play. <laughs> I'm so excited. My I gotta God. say, when I first saw the thing for it, before we realized it was actually out today, I saw the um, electrode as a cube, and I was like, that just looks wrong to me, like, on so many levels. I know exactly what you mean, but screw it. <laughs> I, I like this art style, though. No, it's like a nice art style, just... I don't know, it's... It's like when a flat earther, sh earther shows you their idea of a globe, which is just a map. Yeah. They're like, no, this is how the Earth is, and it's like... No, that's not how it is. It's around for fuck's sake. I love this. Oh, and uh, so, yeah, like we said, this just came out today. And uh, there's also, it, it's coming out on Android and iOS middle or late June. And it's a free download, but it does have in-app uh, things to go. Like, uh, you can get stuff, I guess. Yeah. Oh my god, the Sand Shrew! Oh my god! I want Sand Shrew! I love it. Oh my god. That magic carp? Yes. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm just... Oh my god, the drone. Beep beep boop, beep beep beep. My Moby 4, the drone manufactured by Silphco. Ooh, detect loot is acting strange. What's wrong, Moby? Fucking dirty mouth. <laughs> it ain't happy, that's for sure. put my name, eh? Oh, so you're oh. not even a person, you're a fucking drone. That's kind of cool. Is his name available? That's the question. It is. There we go. So, yeah, th this is what my name is supposed to be, but uh, on PlayStation, someone stole my name. Well, I wouldn't say they stole it, but a dead account has it. Yeah, which is kind of like just slap across the face that it's a dead account. Yeah, and I was like, really? But, I use it whenever I can. I think I still own it on Xbox, I could be mistaken. Uh, Eevee! Oh, is this is when you get to pick yours! You pick your... 
Oh, this is hard! This isn't just- you have- This- this is harder than Pokemon Go because Eevee's an option. I know! Okay, let's think of this, okay. Bulbasaur is cool and all, and so is Squirtle. I really- I like Squirtle more than Bulbasaur, personally. But I love Charmander. Charmander's why I picked in Go. But Eevee- But there's Eevee and Pikachu. Now, Eevee, I like a lot. Pikachu and Raichu, I like a lot. I think maybe Eevee, because then we can see how they have the evolution system, especially for branching evolutions. But maybe I want Pikachu. Uh, pick I... what you want. I'm, I'm probably going to go... Actually, I'd, I'll pick one of those two, too, so I don't know. Uh, okay. Do you have a coin? I don't have a coin, but I do have... Uh... I have a coin. You have a coin, okay. So... Uh, okay, so there's five Pokemon to choose from. Okay, as much as I love the bottom three, I think we're gonna pick between Eevee and Pikachu because the hype between all the Pokemon games. So, we'll do, uh, I guess, heads as Pikachu because Pikachu is the face of the franchise. Get it? Face, head. And tail is Eevee because he's got such a cute fluffy tail. And Eevee has lots of evolutions with tails, so we'll do that. Ah. Uh. Heads? That, that is a heads. Yeah. Okay, so we are going with Pikachu, which is good because Raichu is like my favorite Pokemon ever, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one with the tattoo on my leg. Yeah. I, I just don't have a tattoo yet, that's the thing. I the Pikachu looks like a charge bug, I like it. Charge <laughs> a charge bug was made for this game. I'm sorry if I'm really loud, I'm just really excited. We're both excited. This is Christmas for us basically. It's like I remember when Bethesda did this with Fallout Shelter and everyone freaked out. What? Go towards enemies on their own and attack them. Noise. Oh, beat up that Rattata. Uh, beat him up. Yeah. Oh, shit. Wait, oh my god, it's a wave kind of thing. Oh, god. Oh. Pokemon no moves. By tapping the icon for one of your Pokemon's moves, you can give that the order to use that move. So let's go Thunderbolt for overkill right now. Jesus. Holy shit, Pikachu. Jesus. So we're, we're getting stuff up here. Let's find out what that is. I don't know what it is. Let's do a nice I'm Thunderbolt. Probably, well, I think this game's going microtransactions, they said. Yeah, it does have in-game purchases. I just, hope, I just hope they did the microtransactions right. I know I'm being pessimistic, but let's be honest, a lot of games fucked up microtransactions. Oh. It's a Totem Rattata. Like the Harry Potter game? Yeah, the Harry Potter game has been critically canned because of that. Go, go do them right, in my opinion. Because you never need to microtransaction in that one. Because they make it so easy to earn the coins. Yeah. Oh, I see the way they did this. So Thunder, like, the moves, just because Thunderbolt is stronger in-game. You got some in there. Yeah. It, it changes the way the move is. Like, I just saw there, like, Thunder Shock does heavy damage on one target. Yeah. Thunderbolt hits several targets for weaker damage. I kind of like that. Yeah. So we got these Power Stones. Power Stones are important items that you can give your Pokemon and make them stronger. Oh my god. If they have Gardevoir on this, what the fuck do you think she'll look like as a oh, cube? Oh god. Oh as you god. progress through stages, you'll be able to get stronger Power Stones. Or Cube Snorlax is going to be hilarious looking. Oh god. So we're going to set up a base camp. Yeah, I think I'll go for Eevee because you took Pikachu. Yeah. And I was stuck between those two. At least you can get Mr. Bubbles. Who's Mr. Bubbles? Wait, oh no, no. Was oh, Mr. Nibbles. Mr. Nibbles, that's what it was, yeah. The Vaporeon's always called Mr. Nibbles. So this is where our base is going to be. And it's because I saw that one uh, fan art where this one did of uh, how uh, Vaporeon kept biting holes in the hose to make it rain. <laughs> And I'm like, as Mr. Nibbles. So we're gonna be attaching a power stone here. So they have mysterious charms known as power charms. Does anyone remember that anime? There was actually an anime called Power Stones. I don't call it at all. No, it was really old. When you put a power stone into a socket on a power charm, it can raise the Pokemon's HP or attack. So this one looks like a standard uh, one. You, you can really tell this is perfect for mobile because you have to press and hold A to move these things around. With the Everstone button, you can give a Pokemon an Everstone that will stop it from evolving. So you can evolve your Pokemon! Yes! I wonder if... So, it's charging, right? Yeah, yeah it, it means Animation. it's plugged in getting power. My Switch doesn't have enough power yet! <laughs> power up, Switch! Uh, 
Okay, so my Pokemon's got stronger. Time to start exploring. Okay, so there it looks like there is an energy system. Okay. Which makes sense. Which we'll see how good the energy system is. Because energy systems can be good or bad. Like I like the way they put them in Fire Emblem. Yeah. So an island exp expedition from Heroes. the dungeon icon. We both play we both play a decent amount of mobile games. Okay, so let's click. You know, the Kiva deck is starting to grow on me more. Okay, so that's the first step. So bonus type fighting. Hmm. So I'm guessing this is like my power level here, maybe. Maybe? That's what it looks like. So let's go into this one. Yeah, I guess so. I'm wondering if the whole fighting... I hope it's better than the one where you're playing Pokemon toys. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, Pokemon Rumble. Is that what I did to you? Like, it was pretty fun, but it got boring fast, I found. I know the uh, for Pokemon Rumble, I, I heard that some of it was good. I, actually, I think it was the original one was really good, but the uh, the more recent release, I think it was the Wii U one, was kind of eh. Yeah, I just remember I tried playing it like it was fun for a while, but novelty really wore off. I'm hoping this is more of a like Go, you know, with constant support, which keeps the game fresh. Because Go got boring at times, but then they add new shit to it, like Rage, right. and that got it to be fun again. Yeah. Which, speaking of which, on this weekend, we gotta go and do some raids. Yeah, exactly. What I'm kind of liking with this already, actually, is that you can't just, like, I can't just spam hitting, like, Thundershock or whatever. Yeah. You need, you want your Pokemon to be lined up properly. Yep. Yep. How does the control feel? It's really good. Like, I'm using the left stick to uh, control my icon here. I'm just pressing A on, as if I'm tapping. Do you control Pikachu? Uh, Pikachu is, uh... Controlled by themselves. Okay, so autonomous. Y you are in control of everything else down here. Okay. So, so it's semi-autonomous. Yeah. What I saw was uh, like they said you get a party of three Pokemon. Yeah. So I guarantee like the second slot will be here, third yeah. one on the side. Yeah, and that's perfectly sized. And I think Meowth was paralyzed there actually. Cool. Well, do you keep Meowth? Let's find out. I got something nice there. Yeah. Level three. So you got Everstone your Pikachu, so... Oh, wait. We don't know if they have the items. Well, well, it did say something about getting an Everstone. No, I mean Eviolite. Oh. Eviolite Pikachu is an awesome combo. Got a lot of stuff there. I want to know what all these are. Yeah. Let's find out. Hey, when you know what's like, you look to see what the money transaction system's like. See yeah. Because I am curious about it. Oh, here's our answer. You found some ingredients that looks like you could cook with. If you cook something, it should attract some Pokemon. Oh, cool. It's like the bait system from um, Pokemon Coliseum. Um... Oh, wait, no. Is it Coliseum 1 or is it... Uh, uh, Gale, Gale Darkness. Gale Darkness. Okay. Let's go to options here. Oh, okay. It's doing this thing where it's like, no, you need to click here. Okay, so... All right, that's fine. We're stuck in tutorial. I'm just really interested to see how the microtransactions are done. Because microtrans microtransactions can really fuck over a game, or they can, you know... You know, just be there. Yeah, like, if it's there to give you a little boost here or there, that's nice, but... If you want, but... Like, we can think of multiple systems of microtransactions that are fucked up. The Harry Potter game, the loot boxes, and Star Wars. Yeah, like, if, if your progress is tied specifically to it... Also, the hand disappears if you don't move it for a little bit. Yeah, like, like so long as it's not mandatory to play. Yeah. When you or overly food. forcing you into it. Because technically it wasn't mandatory to play either of those games, but let's be honest, it was bullshit. Yeah. So it looks like by using a rare ingredients you can get better Pokemon. So we're going to put in some tiny mushrooms, we got some uh, blackberries, and an apricorn. Mm, uh, better use for it than giving it to Kurt. So it'll be used up. Would you like to start cooking? Yes. When your dish is finished cooking, it will depend on how many times you've gone out on expeditions. Okay, that's not bad. If you use PM tickets, which are special items, you can finish cooking your dish right away. Okay. So that's what that is, so... Um, uh, uh, you think that's the microtransaction of it? I think it will be, yeah. So just this time, here are some PM tickets you can use to finish it right away. Okay, so it looks like it'll be, uh... Okay, yeah, so you do two expeditions and this is done, or you can just use them right away. So yeah. it looks like it's ten tickets for one. I just hope it doesn't raise it to like some super high level of bullshit. I agree. Some, some games do it. Yeah. Mulligan stew a la cube. Uh, so you throw in whatever you want and favorite food of some Pokemon on Tumble Cube Island. So some Pokemon like it. 
that's a Rattata and a Pidgey. Which one do you want? Huh. Rattata became my buddy. Oh, did you get both of them? I, 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 I might have, actually. I'm befriending a new Pokemon. I keep on befriending more Pokemon. Click on it? Here we go. Yeah, and I got Pidgey. So you got two bros. I see something about 3 out of 20. So maybe once you get 20 Pokemon, you get the next area. Maybe. So edit team, let's go here. Oh, it didn't auto load the mints because they were the only ones? Yeah, looks like that's the case there. Oh, it's telling you how to do it. And it looks like that's their formation, so like Pikachu and Rattata will be up close. Yeah. Whereas Pidgey will be further back. Yeah. So if you really want so to, you, you want one long range on your team, one close, uh, two close range. Or you could do three close range ones. Yeah. So it looks like what? Oh, auto set. Oh, so once you get recipes, you can automatically do it. There. That's cool. You could always try going with a different dish, though. Let's go with that for now. See if you attract something different this time. So yeah, it looks like it's a really good idea to always get your uh, dishes started up before you go for these expeditions, like continuously have one going on. Uh, it's a combination of your HP and attack. At each spot where you can head out on expedition, the strength of enemies will be displayed. This should give you an idea of what your team's strength should be. Uh, Pokemon of the same type as a bonus type for the place you're heading off will have higher HP and attack, making them, usually sh making them stronger. So yeah, that is right. So this will be an even matchup here. And yeah, fighting types would have bonus. So Pidgey's got Gust, and Rattata's got Focus Energy. And there's an auto button here. I think that makes them do whatever they want. Let's go with Gust. Let's get a Thunderbolt going on, because that hits a lot. I wonder how long Focus Energy is going to be for. I'll, I'll try this next encounter coming up here. Because yeah, okay. they're pretty much done there. No, we got curious to see how long it lasts for. Yeah. Or if it lasts between bat encounters. There's a single caterpie there right now. Oh, okay, there's more. Oh, okay, yeah, it's, it's got a little timer right there. Oh, okay. So it counts as like a status, I guess, in a way. Yeah. So pretty much by the time that wears off, you can already use it again, easily. So you should always have it up, basically. Yeah, like you can have it procced the whole time. That's a, that's a terrifying Kakuna. <laughs> it looks like just a <laughs> yellow dick. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's lovely. But it does. Well, that's kind of cool how the environment's a bit destructible like that. That big thunder. Oh no. Okay, yeah, so you definitely gotta be close for some of these here. Oh, okay, you can just proc that again and it'll just reset your timer. Okay. There we go. Oof. There's a power one there that we got, it looks yeah. like. Oh! Sweet. Okay. Alright, so you might run out of supplies. If you'd like, you can connect to the shop to get more. Alright, so this is how we find out. So let's hit here. Uh, you can buy things that will help you on your expeditions on Tumble Cube Island from the Pokemart. You need special items called PM tickets to buy things from the Pokemart. As a service for members, you can receive PM tickets on a regular basis. Uh, so, every... 24 hours you get some? Well, it looks like 22. Oh, yeah. But, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I don't like the way that looks. Okay, so no matter what, you'll you'll always get these, which is kind of nice. I like that. I do not like the way Snorlax looks. <laughs> oh wait, I think that's a chair. So I, I, I think it is a chair. I don't think that's actual Pokemon. That's it for the basics of Expedition, so go out there and find the loot. Okay, so, like, 
Where's the microtransaction element of that? I'm just trying to look at my class. Yeah. So, we're gonna look a little bit more as well. Uh. Oh! Oh, okay, decorations. Decorations are handy items that will make your expeditions on the island more efficient. Decorations have special effects that activate automatically when you purchase them. You can also decorate your base camp with them by tapping the decorations button. Okay, that's pretty cool. So then, uh, bo Pokemon box expansion stones, so... Right now, I can have up to 20. So you, you can have up to 300, it looks like. Okay. So you start off with just 20. And same with stones, you can have just 20 in your inventory. Uh, let's go to additional content here, let's see. Uh, so when you buy all three kinds of expedition packs with the ball models, you get a Master Ball model as a decoration. So let's go with this one for... Let's just go here for a second. Okay, so there's the click to the Nintendo eShop. Okay, so let's go there. And let's see what this is like. Now, keep in mind, so these prices will be Canadian for us. Mm -hmm. So American will be a little different. So the, the, the entire thing, like literally everything, comes up to thirty seven seventy nine. Oh. You get uh, just regular Expedition, Great or Ultra. There's the Scattershot Stone, Broad Burst, Whack Whack, Weightless, Stay Strong, Sharing. Okay, so... That's like the bundle of everything? Yeah, but it looks like that none of this uh, at all is mandatory at all. Like, this is more like... like I hope it stays optional. You, you get PM tickets yeah. to, to go with. But from what it looks like, I don't think you can buy them. Like, you, I don't think you can buy PM tickets. Yeah, that's nice, huh? And you, this, I'm using my right stick here to uh, move this up and down. Huh. Yeah, I'm still not enough charge. So let's go to the energy one for a second. So same thing, you can use p your PM tickets to recharge your battery. So it'd be 25 to recharge this. Uh, expedition bonus. I wonder what that is. But options, let's see what's in here. So music, sound effects, and controls. These are all your controls. Oh! So... Okay, so it's meant to be played by tapping, but this is Joy-Con controls. So you can... Okay, so you can press L and R to swap between your main Pokemon. And you can use Y and X as hotkeys to, uh... Automatically tell it what to do instead of having to move the cursor. Uh, okay. Up is autoplay, so I'm guessing that means they'll kind of do their thing on their own. Mm -hmm. uh, a is confirm, of course. Uh, B is tell your team to scatter, so I'll have to try that next. I feel like that means, you know, split up and attack in different areas, maybe. Yeah. And for quests, so, oh, yeah, rewards here. You can receive items as rewards for your activities on Tumble Cube Island. Sometimes you can get even, sometimes you can even get some PM t tickets. So right here, so Power Stones, so I get, I attach one more Power Stone, I get five tickets. Okay. So there's quite a, quite a good amount here. Yeah. And challenge. Oh, so I got this here. One expedition is the only close range Pokemon, so receive. There are some items that you can only receive as rewards for quests. If you get stuck during your expeditions on Tumble Keep Island, it might be a good idea to try taking on some quests. So we just got some fossils. I wonder what that's for. Icy rock. Bomb mushroom. You get a battery recharge. Okay. Th that's a lot of PM tickets that you can get. Like, even if it's just like five, mm -hmm. it all adds up. And yeah, you get uh, 50 per day. At least, that's what it seems like. Yeah. We'll have to, you know, see further into the future. Yeah. This is definitely one where, you know, you play every now and then for sure. Like, it's not continuous, non stop. Okay. So, so far, it looks like there's a decent amount, you know, good five, ten minutes at least of stuff to do between births. Between you know plays and three sessions, so it's not like a one click, wait another half an hour or day. Okay, so yeah, we can't do that. Oh, but you can click right there and automatically swap Pokemon. So I, I feel like I'm gonna have Pidgey for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, it also gives other stat bonuses there. So movement and speed goes up. Stones? Yeah, I just drag off. Oh, 
Oh, okay, cool. So Gust, it, it says what it does too. So seven second wait. And status afflictions it causes. So you'd have to kind of take a look at that. Oh. So these are probably other moves as well. That's what I'm assuming. Same here. And you can nickname your Pokemon. Oh my god. Oh. There we go. You know, I hate to say this, but do you think they have? Do you think they have a filter on to keep you from putting um, naughty words? I wonder. Training. By training your Pokemon, you can increase their experience or change the moves they know. You'll need the help of a supporting Pokemon to train one of your Pokemon. You'll have to say goodbye to the supporting Pokemon once the training is over. So, you can get more Pokemon, but you'll kind of have to sacrifice them. Yeah. Uh, so this is kind of like that fusion or whatever thing from Fire Emblem. Yeah. So let's let's say Pikachu. I wanna let's say I want. So I'll put you there, and for example, I'm not gonna do it, but let's say Rotata here. Okay, so it cannot be as a part of my team. So I can't do that at all yet. But it looks like uh, maybe it's based on their levels. Yeah. And I think it would be the same here. So yeah, slap on Pikachu. And those are the two moves I currently have. So Thundershock, 173 attack. Sometimes paralyzes. Uh... You also see the two blank spaces, though. Yeah, like. So I guess you get two light hits and two heavy hitters. That, or maybe this is just a. a st Actually, I think this is just an affliction box. Okay. So it shows what it can cause. Whereas for Pidgey, I guess maybe Gust only has its own move for now. But that that takes some getting used to, just seeing what all of it does. Yeah. But. We we still we have uh, one more expedition to do before our uh, pod is ready. Uh, actually, we might be able to do something here. Oh yeah, because we just had to attach a power stone or whatever. Uh, so yeah, we'll get that quickly. Oh. You didn't want to take them, not just close it. I, I'm so used to hitting like the right side. Yeah. And yeah, you can see your timer up here. So I feel like that's how long it'll take. For, uh, I feel like that's all of them, but I, I kind of want to lean towards that being just one, which seems pretty fair. So same thing, this is bonus fighting types. So there's bosses, too. Yeah, it looks like at the end of each area is a boss fight. So, once I get into combat, I'm going to press B to scatter them. Okay, so scatter is almost like a flea mode. So if you're uh, overwhelmed, then you can easily uh, kind of get out of the area. Or if you think they're going to use a good move. Yeah, exactly. You can kind of aim for that. You, you can get paired, I guess. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, Fidgey, what are you doing? Fidgey, get back here. Yeah. It's definitely a nice game to just relax to. You know, before you, before you turn on like Breath of the Wild or whatever game you plan to play. Just pop this in, just play a little bit. I think it'll really thrive on. Uh... I apologize, I know it's a little late, but you know you might be hearing the game from the thing too. Yeah, we we wanted to hear it no matter what. So even then, it it may be quiet enough to a point where you don't hear it. Yeah. You can see like there's a little bar up here. It's like Growlithe. No, don't kill the doggo. I don't want to. I, I want it though. Yeah, you can see the little bar up here. I'm pretty sure that's just. How far along you are in the stage until a new Pokemon show up, or you advance, I guess. Yeah, there we go. I think this will really thrive on mobile for sure. Yeah. Jeez, Thunder Shock is so good. Okay, so you can kind of see the border around them. That's the Pokemon I'm directly controlling right now. Okay. Uh oh. It's the the Viridian Force Pidgeotto. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if they turn the Pidgeotto Pokemon this game or if they don't know. I could I could see them uh, uh branching out. Mm -hmm. 
um, to see. Uh, yeah, it, it just so seems far, right. I don't think we've seen anything. Yeah, so far, just can't help. I got three cores from that. And then, yeah, it looks like for every level up, you get closer to uh, enabling another core. Okay. So it looks like Pikachu has five power and four uh, health as an option. Uh, actually, I think, yeah, they're all like that. Just they're in different areas. And, yeah, so this stone here is... I'm curious as to how good. leveling is going to be handled. I wonder, yeah, like, because so far they've all leveled up. After each That's thing. Little evolution. Oh yeah, yeah. I am. Okay, I think you got one last fight to do. Yeah, although our pot is ready. Okay, let's see. What's that, that does not sound right. What I can see oh, Pokemon that visit periodically. Pokemon that will want to be your buddies will come to visit your base but every twenty two hours. If you've encountered a rare Pokemon during an expedition, there's a chance to make him visit your base too. The main quest. Would you like to check it out? Sure. Oh, okay, yeah. So I could see it actually being good to not accept these yet. Yeah. Because I'd rather wait till I use up all of mine. I can use it, then use it up all again. Yeah. So level so up ten times. Be that. Yeah. But then everything else here looks like there's no reason not to accept it. So, let's see what the food does for us. That's a manky. Yeah. Sweet. It's only just a manky this time, though, I think. It is, but this is our fighting type that we can use. So, you can come with taunt. So, make opponents will target it. It's an aggro move. And fury swipes. It repeatedly swipes at enemies directly in front of them, damaging them. So I'm guessing what this one means is it's a, a spread attack in front. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. So Mankey is going to be a good addition to us here. Yeah, especially for the first area. So it looks like you can get same, a different Pokemon from the same dish. Yeah. Which is nice. Let's just throw Mankey in there for now. And with Mankey being... Oh, no, I can't give you the good one there. Well, I'll still give you that there. The only thing I want is just more HP for Mankey. Yeah, that's... Not the best HP, but then again, it's a little lower right now. Yeah. Although Pikachu is going to be my OG, so I need Pikachu to be as strong as possible. Yeah. So I'll give you the 71 for now. So it looks like uh, these ones are just standard. Yeah. Then the red has a bonus ability, so... HP upon recovery, plus 5.2%. Not sure what that's all about, but yeah. It looks like you could recycle some of these, so let's hit this for a second. You recycle a power stone, you get some ingredients as a reward. Because this one's pretty bad, so let's do it. Okay, so food and fossil. And just like that, we're more than strong enough to uh, take on the boss. Oh, and this is a quick o overview of your team. Yeah. All right, and this is uh. Yeah, so yeah. far, so far I think the uh, gives a pretty good impression. I just oh. hope it doesn't suddenly you know take a turn for you know. I don't know. So far, what do you think of the game? I'm liking it a lot. Uh, this is definitely. Like, I feel like it'll definitely be best on uh, mobile, mm -hmm. but at the same time, like, I, I feel like there's going to be a way to uh, make this connect with mobile once it comes out. Like, I feel like there's there's going to be some way. Crossplay? Yeah. Like, yeah, kind of like progress will save. Okay, yeah, so 150, so it's the original Pokemon only. Yeah. That's a bit of a downer. I hope they add in the other Pokemon. I, I honestly think they will. Huh. Oh, and it also kind of shows what kind of Pokemon they are in the bottom there, so... Close range. And yeah, they got the original cries. But, it looks like it only shows Pokemon that you've befriended. So you actually have to own them to get in here. 
Let's go all the way. Or maybe anyway. previously on them too. At one point or another, you must have had it. It's kind of funny that the Pokedex in this one is actually just a book. Yeah, it's li literally just a book. Considering in the uh, oh my show, god, in the games they always try to high tech it. Yeah, they're totally. They're they're riding on the Pidgey. Yep. All right. Anyways, uh, yeah, this has been Pokemon Quest. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely something to look out for. Uh, like we said, it's on Switch, coming out middle of the month to end of the month in June. And uh, yeah, check out the stuff about uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. Looks really promising. Really hoping they don't mess it up, because, like, it's a good company, but, you know, even the best companies fuck things up sometimes. I'm worried. As much as it looks great, it's like... Please, just don't mess it up. The main thing I was iffy on was if that was going to be the core game. But I guess it's been confirmed that this core game is going to be mid-2019. So now it's like, you know what, I'm fine with this. I like the way they're doing this now. Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of hope that you still have to battle wild Pokemon, but at the same time, since they show wild, or since they show trainer battles, and you actually have four moves and it plays out like normal, I wonder if they're going to be tweaking the way stats are in Pokemon Go. Cause I'm pr I feel like they're gonna have actual speed and all that. That'd be nice, cause Pokemon Go to see needs some retooling. And I feel like uh, the CP is gonna factor into the level and experience in some way, but we w we won't know until mid November. Anyways, that was it for this. So uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, this was kind of a big surprise. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. So it's half an hour per energy there. Which isn't bad. That's not bad at all, especially for mobile stuff. I wonder if you'll get more energy eventually. I, I have a feeling like as you do expeditions, you will, because yeah. there's a bonus right here. I, I just hope that you don't have to. It doesn't like require more and more energy for different expeditions, like not like an obsidian mount. I, I know what you mean. Yeah, like where it's like, oh well, this costs one. Oh, this costs nine now. I know what you mean. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.